This T-1000 used to be my favorite, but now this is the one I'm recommending. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're doing the bottom line up front. If you've got a SenseCap T-1000, you've got to check out this new WizMesh tag. I was only getting about a day and a half of battery life out of this one. I'm getting three days out of this one and it's got a better IP rating. Not to mention, the cost is the same on either device. One of the reasons I'm getting better battery life out of this one is because it's got a bigger battery, while it is not significantly bigger physically than the T1000. This one, though, has a 1000 milliamp hour battery, and that T1000 only has a 700 milliamp hour battery. So that does explain part of the difference, but the main thing to me is just getting more battery life. Now, it came pre-flash with MeshTastic, but I went ahead and updated the firmware using the MeshTastic Web Flasher. It has a Nordic MCU and a GPS unit that's supposed to acquire signals faster than the T-1000. Now, I never really noticed any problems with my T-1000 acquiring satellites, so I can't really say that that's better although they claim it is on the website. By the way, they didn't send me this unit. I bought this out of my own pocket, so I get to say whatever I want to about this device. And if you want the full specs, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can get your hands on this device too. But for me, this is the one that I'm carrying in my pocket on a day-to-day -day basis. I just added a little bit of paracord and a carabiner so I can clip it to my pants and then even slide it in my pocket if I don't want it bouncing around. If I happen to have my backpack with me, well, I just clip it right on the back of the backpack. The IP66 rating of this device means you don't have to worry about it if you get caught out in a storm. I've been carrying this for over a month now, and I have been very, very pleased. I honestly thought that first time that I got three days of battery life out of it, it might have been a fluke. But after recharging it multiple times, I'm still getting three days of battery life out of this unit, and to me, that just makes it a little bit easier to manage than the T-1000. From my experience, I'm seeing similar range out of the two devices, and they are so close in physical size that I don't even notice the difference. And over the last six weeks or so, I'm only carrying that T-1000 when it's time to charge the WizMesh tag. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.